the Silas was a flex pick. I didn't know if it was mid or whatever. So yeah, Rise just... Blind is fine, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'd never played the Yone matchup before, if I'm being honest. And I played it. I've heard I've played it not that great because I didn't really punish him early on. Right. Don't skill anything yet at level one. Fucking, I don't care if you're playing Syndra. You might need your E or some shit. I don't know, bro. Like, you just don't 100% know, yeah? So unless you, yeah. like, know, then you can skill. Gotcha. But yeah, W's good against Yone, right? Yeah, well, melee matchups usually take W. Yes. Even against ranged champions, it's probably fine. Especially if you have bone plating, you can just be, like, super aggressive in trades. Um, okay, like, do you do this so... I know, you know, this is, like, an organized game, but fucking, yeah. like, who cares about that? Like, what do you do in level 1, like, in any game, if you're playing mid lane? Like, do you ward at any it time? Do you champ, stand anywhere? It, it depends on the champ. If I'm playing, like... Talon, Galio, I'll probably look for a Raptor Ward early on. If I'm playing like Zillion, I'll just like sit under tower. <laughs> but why would you why would you waste a ward if they have a full clear jungle? Well it depends on the jungler. Like, okay, so that's want, that's like want, the real reason though, right? It doesn't matter like yeah. what champion you're playing. Oh gotcha, gotcha, yeah. So if they have a level two ganker, you're gonna ward at level one. Mm. Potentially. Like J4. Maybe they have Graves who might evade, like, I don't know, your yeah. jungler. And you think about warding, fine. There's a reason for it. But if you're just warding because you're a champion, like, what about if it's an Evelyn? You're not going to see her for fucking two minutes. So a 90 mm. second ward is wasted. So warding is important, right? What? So we're what only warding say? against yeah. champs who can actually hit us. Like, maybe after a red side clear, level three maybe. Or level two. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Against, like, range champs. I don't know if you've seen the other sessions I've done so far, but... Um, I saw the one before this. So the top lane one, yeah, okay. So mid lane, yeah. if you're against ranged champions, like, what is your kind of, like, move out of base? What do you mean? Like, yeah, so you're running out of the fountain of 15 seconds. Like, what's your... Where are you clicking against ranged champions? Against ranged champions? Yeah, I mean, even in this game, you should do it. But, yeah, against ranged champions, like... Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. So let's say you're against... Let's just, let's just say you do this against a ranged champion. What is stopping someone from standing here and zoning you from running back? Or maybe like a Syndra spacing you with Q and you already lose like 50 HP. And because she's standing up, she gets first auto attack on the first minion. Mm -hmm. She's more than likely to get prior. Oh, uh, okay. I see what you mean. So yeah, right. I, I, do you mean I should be standing like closer to where the wave is going to meet? Is that what okay, you mean? So okay, so against... In this game, it's fine, right? Because you should automatically get prior against Yone. Mm. But against a ranged champion, your first click, like, just out of base is to mid. Okay, yeah, go so, through the lane. So the first, like, fucking battle of mid lane against ranged champions is just who's going to get the first auto attack. Mm. First auto attack. Against melee champions, it doesn't matter why. Kind of just talked about it. And you can just always get prior. You can free hit melee champions. So. Yes. And if they push, you're happy. You should be able to control waves as ranged champions, mm. right? You've always got contact with the wave. Yeah. So you want them to hit the fucking wave. So if you're against the melee champion, the only auto attack you do is to stagger HP. Mm -hmm. At the first three melees, right? So you can actually just auto attack them rather than wasting abilities. Yeah? Yeah. This is the first battle. First fucking key battle. You win this battle, you win the prior against ranged champions, that is. First three mm -hmm. waves are yours. Makes it super fucking like, just easy to play. And on Rise, yeah. it's important because your first base is going to be what? Ideally. Like here or something? It's it, right? 400 gold. Yeah. You'll have like 450, maybe more, after three mm -hmm. waves. You can recall, you come back to lane, and you're fucking, you can actually play the game. Yeah, pink or something like that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, what, like whatever gold you've got, you buy some shit. Tear and something else. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so Silas Jungle here, you probably don't even have to ward, right? Early game? Mm -hmm. Maybe you ward, because you're going to get like Pryo anyway here, yeah? unless Yone goes... Completely fucking nuts. But you can always ward, like, on wave 3 when it comes in. Maybe, like, at the start of 2 if you're, like, kind of scared. Because jungle clears mm. are actually quicker now. So the actual yeah. timing's around 2.10 to ward. I'm pretty sure. Rather than, like, 2.25, 2.30. Okay, so let's see what we do here. I'll let you know now that I don't do many right things in That auto but... attack is fine, but yeah. fucking, like, no more, right? Just one. Mm -hmm. So why do we do one? Well, because if I keep autoing him, the wave is going to, like, start chasing me, you know? Uh, well, what do you mean? Like, I'm, I'm just saying, bro. Like, if you auto attack that melee more than once, oh yeah, I that's think it's bad. Him, yeah, yeah, no, nah, not him. I'm just saying we could, we'll talk about that in a second. But um, as far as like you auto attacking 
just one melee minion here. What what do we just say? You do it because it what? Staggers. Staggers the HP, right? So the first order attack's yeah. fine. Honestly, fine. Mm. Um, maybe you should wait a little bit until you know 100% which minion is copying aggro. Like, just wait oh, a few okay. seconds. Yeah, I see what you um, mean. Yeah. And pretty much, like, your first movement here, like, against melee champions, is pretty much... It, it's all about judging, like, aggro. Because mm. you should never, like, fucking face check... Like, not face check, but headbutt them. It's yeah. all about judging aggro, right? And positioning. So if you stand, like, over here, and you auto W him, and maybe you auto attack him once more for phase rush, right? And you run back yeah. off, it's probably worth for you. Mm. If he starts W, you have to space it. Right. Because otherwise that trade might even be better for him. Mm -hmm. Right? So pretty much, like as soon as he shows, you're thinking about moving past the wave like this. If you stand in the middle of the wave and he fucking, I don't know. I mean, it's actually probably good here if you stand in the wave because you okay. want him to push, right? So if he hits you, he's hitting minions and it might push yeah. into you. Um, But yeah, like fucking if he does that, he's trolling. So yeah, this is where you should be. Right. Pretty much pressuring him. Now, as soon as you auto attack, you've got to think like your auto attacks are cooldown. So here it is. There's auto attack cooldown. Yeah. Mm. So if you go for an auto attack and he runs at you, let's just say you're held close to him, you're probably going to lose. I try. Yeah. So we have to like fucking think about that as well. Um, Can you just say that, Bishop? Like, where you're standing here is, is if you were against, I don't know, Syndra or. Yeah, I'm sorry too far back. Yeah. Yeah, like you're versing a Yone, bro. Like you've got all the control mm. in the world. And uh, first few levels here, like if you don't get a dip, this is why Yone and like. And other melee champions and low elos like Zed, everyone just fucking bans them because they just can't play like first few can't waves punish against them. It? Like punish the range difference. Yeah, there should be like a HP diff here. If there isn't an HP diff, it's because you've full zoned him and he's got two CS after two waves. Yeah. So there has to be some sort of diff here. So again, all these auto attacks, if I'm at Yone, like I'm fucking chilling. Honestly. Um that auto attack's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But no more. Just chill. Yeah. No more. Just relax. Oh. Like that one's too much. Too yeah, many. like it's just a cooldown waster, right? Like you could have pressured him for that min like minion. Or like when he mm -hmm. Q's anyway. Like how's he able to access the wave here without losing it? Like HP, right? He doesn't have yeah. 3Q. Q3. So now you have to fucking relax. Like if he has Q3 here, of course you move back a little bit. Mm -hmm. But he's not a champion until he has that, right? You're just yeah. spacing him. That's it. Like he's on the timer for every third cube. Mm -hmm. So you've auto attacked him once. Now I guarantee you, if you were to, we were to watch like a high elo, rise yeah, you Yeah, he would already up, be half health. Yeah, like well, I watch some boards. Maybe, but yeah, like the the rise is going to position very differently, and mm -hmm. everything you're doing with your character is telling me how you're thinking. You're not thinking about Yoni at all. No, you're I'm just, just thinking, thinking about, about not griefing. <laughs> not griefing, right? Which is yeah. not going to help you play optimally. Like, what does yeah, not griefing mean? It, it doesn't dying. really... Well, yeah, not dying. But how are you going to die at level 1 against Yone? Like, it's impossible yeah. to. I mean, I'm not arguing the Maybe logic. Not, I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, like, your perspective... And it's been a massive, like, theme of me doing these sessions. I might even do, like, a fucking wrap-up video. Mm. But, um... People still, like... If I ask a question, it's always about the map. Or something extraneous. Yeah. Like, it's always about fucking 1v1 and matchup. Like, I want my mid laner playing mid lane um, how it should be played. Not thinking about something that's, like, not me having a go at you. But if oh, it's no, bot lane, top lane, or anything, I don't want them thinking about anything else but their matchup and maybe the enemy jungler when I tell them where they are. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like, I don't want you thinking, oh, don't feed or don't do this. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it was just some jitters, mm. I'll be honest. But oh, bro, it's, it it's fine to be nervous, away. man. Fucking, bro, I remember my first game in uh, Chow. I was playing against Rogue, who's like probably one of the best supports, like an actual mm. fucking Chow support. I got dumpstered, but I learned more from that game than any other. So fucking, you know, be nervous, absolutely fine. But you're going to learn so much from, like, playing these games, so you should be, like, excited as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, okay. This kind of spacing is fine, because he has 3Q, right? Mm. Let me go back a little bit here. So again here, you should be standing to the right of the minion wave. Like, down on here. one of the sides. And so well, yes. why to the right and not to the left? Is it because of the minion? I just think... I I don't even know, bro. It just looks better. Like Isn't going the left up here. Because I have the ward there. I mean, maybe, but like you're never gonna get ganked, right? It just looks better because it looks to me as if you're actually closer to it rather than going all the way up here. It just looks oh, natural okay. to move here. That's all. That's yeah, all yeah, it is. I agree. I think it does look but, quite natural. But but in like later levels when it's like three minutes, right, and the enemy jungler might be coming mid, you have to think about it. So it's actually like a good question to ask. Yeah. Um, and obviously you don't want to like miss minions here for free. 
So if you were standing here, and of course you can auto attack him, get the minion. Just get the gold. Unless he's fucking trolling and just giving you like half his HP bar, just get the minion. Right. Yeah, so you auto attack the minion. Maybe you have to move back if he moves up. And then as soon as like that stops, we go again, right? Mm. Yeah, so you don't need to run back this far. I mean, that spacing is kind of okay. Yeah, it's probably fine. All right, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Stop hitting the wave. So why would I say this? Like, why Why do these auto attacks well, mean nothing? It's already pushing, so it's on him to either slow it down, and if he tries to slow it down, I can hit him. Is that is that what you're getting at? Um, yeah, so... Pretty much, like, what I'm trying to, like, get into your head, Bishop, is everything mm -hmm. means something, right? Like, even where you said you're warding at level 1, depending yeah. on the champion you play, like, there has to be a legit reason to do shit. Mm -hmm. You hitting this minion... Like, what does it achieve? It just, I guess it just pushes the wave. Right, so it pushes the wave. That's what it does. Pushes the wave. Mm. Is it advantageous for you to push the wave like this in terms of beating Yone? Um, I guess it just depends, like, what everything... I mean, you said focus on the wave and the matchup or whatever, but I guess I would be thinking, like, why would it be good for me to shove here? Would it be because... My Kha'Zix wants to, like, do this top crab, or the bot crab, or whatever, so I need to keep the Right, 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 right. We are, we are gonna, we can, if you have a question about the map, you just ask, mm. and I will just show you how it's irrelevant. Right. Focus on this, right? So, okay. this one auto attack, and maybe you do it, like, you've done it a lot so far, and I'm guessing you're gonna do it more than this, on this wave. Yeah. But you auto attack the wave here, when you have level two, right? This minion is two. Put a big two on it. There it is. Level two. Mm-hmm. Therefore, you have kind of inherent strength over Yone. Yeah. Right? What I talked about in the last sesh with FD is like, and all the sessions, is like this minion wave line you see. You have to think a bit, think about it as if you were this, this player. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's going to be happy with you pushing the wave like this and just hitting minions? Yeah, Why? probably. Well, because it just, he can just farm on the tower or whatever eventually. Like, it's no right. pressure on him. Right, there's no pressure. They're, he's chilling, you're just pushing your minions. Remember, because your minions here, when this dies too quickly, go up towards him, towards his yeah. safety. This is danger for him. Right. So you want to be fucking, like, slowing this down as much as possible, because you hit two first, naturally. You just get priority. And when you hit two, right, you can just play beyond the wave. Mm. And you stand here. He might and be is here. this he the might same with, like... Um, I think you said it. It's like the same with every range matchup, right? Like if I was playing Victor here, it'd be the same. Yes. Yeah. Have you go on um the fucking uh, what is it? Uh, Hindered Raven coaching I did. Um, mm. they're all on YouTube, so you can just look at them. Yeah. So that yeah. session, like the level one where he gets prior against the Swain, and what he should do after that is like um critical, I think. Yeah. Really, really important to understand. So yeah, like watching that session will help a lot. But it's the okay. same concept here. Like, you've got two guaranteed. We're not going to crash this wave. We're not playing Aurelia. What does it even achieve? Like, you can't base. Mm. You know, and, like, it doesn't do anything. Like, you're just going to exchange minion waves. Like, you're going to damage him, what, like, a little bit under his tower? It means nothing, right? You can damage him a lot more here by changing how you think and position. Right. Yeah, and if he, if he like, full backs off, bro, you just run up and grab this space. Mm. Legit. Zone him off the wave. Yeah, you just react to him at that point, but the correct move here is just to go like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, you can stay yes. That's what I'm seeing so far, so we can last hit minions. We've got perfect CS here. Bishop, that's good. Probably the only thing I was thinking of in the game. Yeah, bro, but fucking Yone is probably gonna, like, outscale you. Like, honestly, yeah. that champion becomes insane, and he's scaling. Like, you're letting him scale. Mm. It's your job to play the matchup here. I don't care, like, ELO type of game, Rise against Yone, That's there true. are advantages yeah. for Rise early game. And That's if we're not doing it, then we're playing inefficiently. And right? that's just the truth of it. Mm. So hopefully this is showing you how you're playing it. So again here, like, I can just tell you, don't, like, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, like, queuing minions like this and actually helping you. You should just relax. Yeah. Like, don't even hit that. Like, leave it there. Leave it there. This as well, like, it's fucking good because he's hitting, like, more minions than he should, right? Right. He but just just chill. Be... Just leave it. Just uh, stop auto... <laughs> Legit, bro. Mm. Just never auto attack on rise. Mm. Yeah, it's all about, like, making it difficult, man, for him. Like, everything has a fucking cost pressure point, yeah? Base, anything. Minions, space. 
when he uses cooldowns. Um, you know what level three is, yeah? Like what minion? What do you mean, like in the world? No, yeah, like I don't know. so. Like, so level. Okay, so level two is what? Level two is just the first melee of the next wave. You're good, right? And level three is second melee. Not... Second okay. melee of third. Yeah. Sometimes you have to be careful, right? Because you might have like leftovers from previous wave, like range minions and stuff. Oh so, yeah, okay. So that's second melee, right? You can see. Mm. Bot lane is different. Bot lane, it's uh, wave four. Like second melee of wave four. I actually don't know. I think it's second minion of wave four for level three for Bot lane. Okay. Um, yeah, and then you do this, which I don't. This is actually fine. The funny thing is, bro, like I just fucking say this and I know it's okay. Um, because, uh... because, um, it's going to allow you to hard crash or just like hard shove next wave just easier. Yeah. If his cannon is still here on full HP, it's probably too even. It's still like not too bad, but this damage I actually like. I don't know if you did it in the game for that though. And I kind of no, doubt I you did. did. Yeah. For the scuttle. <laughs> well, I was thinking <laughs> about the scuttle. I was the like, scuttle, mate. if I... If I shove the next two, I can run down with Oh prior. my god, bro. Dude, yeah. That damage means scuttle crap. I mean, you've got prior anyway, right? So scuttle yeah. is irrelevant. Like, you're going to get first move anyway. And you're like mm. hugging towards Karzik's side, which is fine. And like there's no reason to worry about crap here. And this was kind of good. It's almost like you baited him to go in. This positioning is close to perfect, to be honest. Because if he cues you here, why is it like really, really good? Well, doesn't he just... I'm about to hit level 3, so he's about to lose all his health if he goes in. Right. Yeah, so he'll lose HP, but why is it, like, also good? So we've talked about waves a lot, so why is it good for you in terms of the wave, if he queues through to you? Well, the wave will just all start attacking him, right? And his wave will start pushing quicker, and he'll hit the wave with his Q as well. Hit the wave with his Q. Yeah. Hit the wave with his Q. So again, he might end up pushing it towards you, bro, and are you happy? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's good for me. Yeah, Stop exactly. Him. Exactly. Like, let him hang himself. Gotta have discipline, man. Like, every bit of damage on minions matters. Mm. And now, like, this this next one I don't agree with. Like, here you just chill. That's fine, because... Like, this is so hard to explain, because it's just, like, instinct. But, um... Yeah. I just see this, man, and I know that that damage is going to allow you to, like, full... Uh, it's just going to be such a nice crash on the next wave, right? But if you damage it more... It's going to be near his tower, maybe a bit too much. And if Silas oh, okay, hits you, yeah. yes, so watch this. So, like, th this is going to, like, end up fucking here. It should be here. Mm -hmm. Right? And now we've got to be a little bit careful. Yeah? Yeah. Now we've got to be careful with Silas, and this is, like, where, if you ever feel like, shit, I'm in a precarious position, or I might get fucking ganked or die, or you're just scared, it's waves. Mm -hmm. Your positioning, for the most part, is going to be dictated by that line. Right? Like, if you're standing yeah. here, you're not scared if the minion wave's here. Yeah. So the question is, why do we feel scared? So, in other words, how the fuck is this line here? Because we've been hitting the wave and damaging it way too much. Yone is full HP, by the way. So I reckon we've auto-attacked in Bishop, what, like, twice, maybe? Three yeah, times? Twice. Right. Twice so if we were to watch... Lovely. If you, after this session, just go and watch this matchup and how it should play out, or against any, like, melee champion, you can legit send me a DM on how many autos. Yeah. If there's zero auto attacks, it's because Yoni is AFK under his tower. Yeah. This guy's had full contact with the wave for two minutes. It will be two minutes. Okay, so this crash is good. And if we'd like I'm I'm fine, bro, like with you kind of overstaying your tier mm -hmm. when the minion wave is like this, because he's I mean honestly, like fucking he's been pushing towards you, which is excellent, right? Like you don't think about your tier at that point. Because right. you can always recall for a tier and come back and the wave's still there. That's fucking the yeah. most optimal thing ever. That's if he, like, fucks up, which he did. But we've kind of let him off the hook here, right? And we can never recall here for tier because the wave will be just, like, screwed, right? Mm -hmm. So we kind of have to stay. And next wave, we just have to go nuts, right? Yeah, have to make sure it, like, either crashes or something. Yeah, like, you warding there is fine to protect yourself, but hit the wave and go fucking ham here. So you could have got in maybe two, three auto attacks before that E. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, you should just go boom. Like, he can never kill you. Do you think he has kill threat? Like, if you no, just hit the wave? Yeah, right, like, who gives a fuck? So yeah, this wave should be in by now. Or very close to being in. 
with this as well, try to like soften them up to the point where your Q is going to one shot them, right? So just auto yeah. attack, yeah? Don't just like EQ because the damage is hell awkward early. Yeah. So here, just I, try I to soften them all up. I think I was just used to it doing a little bit more for some reason. Like, and then it just, yeah. But like, that's fine. Don't be scared to use W as well. Yeah, like that. You can flick your W towards minions just to like secure them, right? Yeah. Please just fucking base. I know it's not a, um, a cannon, but please just recall for tier. Yeah, so it's just a recall, right? Bishop? Yeah, I mean... Like, I, look at this. Look at all this I, time. Like, you shove the wave and then I'm you stand saying. still. Bro, you just love crap. I'm telling you. This is the fucking theme, mate, right? When yeah. you start thinking about the map, you're going to, like, sub sub-optimize, if that's a word, de-optimize yeah. yourself, which is shit. C could you, you go can... more into detail about that? I've never heard this before, and it sounds quite interesting. So, you're saying that, like, mm. anything outside of the lane can negatively affect your actual laning if you focus too much on it is that what the point was yes yeah so many people bro, I understand that this is a team game and it's a 5v5 but is it really what do you mean right five champions against five champions mm -hmm. are you are you fucking hitting this top laner until like no. 20 minutes nah <laughs> or maybe eight minutes for rift fight right so how's it's not well, it can't be a 5v5 Right. That's just illogical. Are you going to see the enemy like bot lane that much? Probably not. Who are you going to see the most? Jungle and mid. Jungle, maybe. You have to think about yeah. it. True. It's more like a 1v2, mate. League mm. of Legends, if you're playing mid lane. If you start making plays for Kha'Zix, you're forgetting about Yone. Yeah. Now, there are times where, like, you can move, right? When you don't have fucking tear and you're not oom. Like, you might come back to lane, right? You shove the wave out and then you run to dragon. Because you got big yeah. prior. That's fine. Fine, but it's good for you. Because you're not losing anything. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. You can still play for your team and it be good for you. You don't have to give up shit to make it, like, you know, to help your teammates. Yeah, I think I do that a lot. Like, I just mm. sack a bunch of shit. Because like, I think it's good. Bro, think about the World Cup, right? Like football, you know, soccer. Yeah, football? right. Very big fan. Yeah. Right. If you're against fucking Lionel Messi, bro, do you care about the other ten players? If you're no. marking Messi, nah, <laughs> right? Not. It's just Messi. Yeah. You just care about Messi and doing everything you can to make his fucking ninety minutes difficult. Mm -hmm. You think about everything you can to make Yone's game difficult. Yeah. It's like the fucking hardest thing to like get through to people. I'm not saying it is to you, but it yeah. is. And the reason being is because fucking coaches just don't understand fucking league and most coaches mm. have like never fucking coached a high elo they've never been high elo they're just fucking pseudo coaches who try to sound smart right and unfortunately like, but just because it's the first thing people get taught they believe it mm. like fucking religion right not saying like it's it's bad to no, believe in religion yeah, yeah, but it's what, what you're you it's I like the first thing you're yeah. taught at school or i was yeah. anyway so most people will you're fucking believe in that that's what you mean right? yes, like, yes, yes 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 yeah, yeah you right, listen to right. like someone and you're like oh holy shit that's how I've got to think. Yeah. No one questions shit. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. So hopefully hopefully that makes sense. Fuck, I might <laughs> I might put that speech on TikTok. I've just had that's, like a yeah, fucking that's a really epiphany good about it. I honestly already think that's going to change my gameplay more than anything you'll probably say this game. Bro, but, if you yeah. go and watch a fucking Chovy VOD, like, we can go through it together, man. He is thinking about nothing else but 1v1. Yeah, I've noticed that. He just doesn't care, like, about what's happening in the game. And, unless it's, like, good for him, right? Like, unless it's two free yeah. kills because he roams towards Dragon, he's not going there. He's going to keep winning 1v1. And guess what? You can keep winning 1v1 until fucking High Challenger. Because yeah. no one thinks like that until that ELO. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember watching the mm. world's game with Chovy, and he's literally just farming the whole game. I mean, I, sometimes it it's bad, bad like he does yeah, make mistakes, but for the first ten minutes, bro, it's bad. fucking pretty much like perfect, probably. Yeah, it does grade a little bit on his ear, but yeah, because he like fucking stays for lost chapter, and then stays for Ludens in like most of the mm. games. I'm pretty sure I watched anyway, which should be exploitable, but yeah, again, that just really depends on what's happening. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pause, lasted. man. Yeah, it lasted for a while. <laughs> We're back. There you go. Yeah, this makes sense though, right? You shove that wave, even though this is a, a standard wave, get your tier. Yeah. If you're playing another champion, bro, definitely fucking recall as well. Yeah. And you can TP back with Amptone, Dark Seal, whatever it is. Dark Seal, yeah. Yeah, you probably start D-ring right, maybe, on other champs. 
I still yeah. think you can, like, why can't you start D-ring against Yone, by the way? Yeah, like, do you I, need I was actually corrupting? gonna ask you. No, so the idea with corrupting was, I was, I was like, look, I'm gonna auto him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. okay yeah it's funny but like that's what i was thinking i was like i should be ordering him a lot and i think corrupting has more value when you're gonna order with someone a lot because you just keep popping it and he takes that burn damage yes so if you're in contact with the enemy champion a lot you're right like corrupting is going to be very useful mm. i think it's more useful though against actual like kind of similar champions to yourself so champions who might oh, fight okay. for prior so champions like maybe Victor, like maybe Syndra, like Syndra, Ori. Syndra, Victor, yeah. I think corrupting is actually just probably better. Mm -hmm. Is I'll it have trading to do... more? Yeah, exactly. You're trading yeah. more right with them. And the corrupting is just going to allow you to sustain through that shit. And you're saying ring is like the opposite. It's like you're not Yeah, really I think I think this, like it's the early game, right? Like laning phase here, in my opinion, for you should be free. Especially when you're running bone plating. There's nothing to fucking worry about. So you can take D-ring, you should never run a move. Mm -hmm. But if you have D-Ring here and then you get Tear, looks nice. Yeah. So yeah, I think like Corrupting, I'm not sure if you tailor like Biscuits and shit with it anymore, but I have to do a bit of research, but yeah, like that's that's in my head. Burn, but yeah. Yeah, no, just whatever the other like fucking item is. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. Like against, I don't know, if you're playing Rise, maybe you take even D-Mat in some matchups, like against Syndras and Oris, Zoe's, D-Mat sounds really good and important. Yeah. I, I yeah, like Dima, especially yeah. for like cannon waves and shit. Oh, here he is, mate, the Silas. Yeah. So yeah, I think if I'm if I'm playing as either, like, I think Yone's made a bunch of mistakes as well. Like if I'm playing as either of you two here, like I'm just like, you know, I like, should have recalled like two ways ago. Yeah, we would have. <laughs> now you're gonna miss I experience, mean, right? We got like, it. It's just yeah. super aids. Yeah. But... So now you're missing minions. Like, look, you just missed two melees for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's three. Actual three melees. Huge. You know it's going to hit yeah. six before you. And if you don't yeah. have bone plating and you're half HP, Silas comes, you're dead. Just yeah. because of this. Soften these ranged up, right? Mm -hmm. When you come back, auto, auto, auto. So you can do what? Well, I just hit them once when the tower hits them. Or I can just EQ, W. EQ, bro. Yeah. Just clear them. Um, the other option here, like, if you were fucking really thinking about it, is to actually, like, maybe keep the minion line, like, here, so you would just, like, auto-attack, like you said, but just yeah. clear them. Just clear them. Mm -hmm. I think I missed this cannon. Oh! FF. Yeah, like, you missing, <laughs> like, Bishop here, bro, you missing all these is... Yeah. Right, this, oh, this can't happen, mate. It, it's, like, hurt my soul. Because I, like, had... So, I, I was CSing pretty well, and then I started missing so many... Bro, you got 7 out of 7. But you can get 7 out of 7 and half his HP, maybe. Yeah. Yeah? That's the thinking, mate. Like, people just think you you can't do two things at once on League. Of course you can. Yeah, just EQ it. Just fucking EQ it and go top quick. Like, why not just EQ this and just go top? Like, EQ this? Yeah, yeah like the minion. Yeah. It's quicker, right? Mm. Team diff? I mean, for sure, my team was like just. Oh, like, it's over, man! You've won. Why isn't? Oh, Yone was going top, honestly. But that's why I thought. No, Shadow he just reset. Good. I think he just reset. Yeah, he just reset. I thought he was like going top. That's why they fought. No, like right now he's in base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He probably was already mid by the time that all started. I think if that's the case, then you leave the wave. I didn't actually realize like how much time would pass it. So oh, this okay. next wave, just chill. Mm. I thought this was good because like Yone was fucking there or something, and you have to get to the fire. But I actually, just like leaving he this could wave. be there. I said in like comms, I think I said, look, he's off reset, but I don't think he's gonna be there. I said something like that because yeah. I'm pretty sure right now he's like tier two, something like that. So what I'm thinking is Yone. Like, when he comes back to lane, I'm not saying, like, he's going to be strong enough, but there's always potential for him. Like, if he comes back to lane quick enough, and mm -hmm. you don't shove quick enough to, like, hold this wave up. And yeah. you can always get to that fight first, because you know he's probably, like, around here somewhere. And if he's going to the fight, he's going to miss minions. So what right. you can do in this situation, it's very, like, hard, it's very nuanced, this, but you can just, like, stand here. And you can always, like, when the minion, like, let's just say you last hit this minion... Yeah. These two are healthy enough. You've got enough time oh, to like just go up I and see. ward, yeah. and you can just hold this side, right? So you've got the first move. 
if Technically you see your him... foot in the door. Is that what you yes. mean? Yes. So you're doing two things. You're going to the fight, but you're still getting gold experience. And mm -hmm. if that's the situation, let's just say Yoni does do this and he runs over like the, the crab here. Maybe yeah. you can go top, but what's like maybe just 100% always good for you? Grabbing the wave? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Because you've got access to the wave, but you, you can also move if you have to. So yeah, yeah, I just think leave this minion wave. It doesn't do anything. If next wave is cannon, maybe, and you can fucking like just shove, or maybe you hit six off this minion wave and you're looking for like a play at six, but you're not hitting six for a minute. So this shove doesn't yeah. actually like make much sense in my head. Mm -hmm. Again, man, like everything is a reason. Like I kind of skip through this and I fucking go back and I'm just like, wait, why did we shove? Like I just see the wave shoved in and I'm like, yeah. does it actually do anything? It doesn't do anything. I mean, personally, I mm. thought there was a chance of him going. That's why I shot. But if like, he goes, you should be happy. Because he's going to yeah. miss like so much experience mid, and he's a level 5 Yone, not 6, so... Mm -hmm. You'll hit 6 before him. Even though you shouldn't, because you missed like 3 melees for no reason. Yeah. You have 1? Bro, what is that ward? Was that the tilt him? That's your what? Is that what you're talking about? Bro, that ward just there, like... <laughs> I, I mean, know. surely you fucking ward like around here, no? Yeah, if you're going to ward anywhere. I mean, you've just warded on top of his head when the wave is like there. Like, you can ward at the end of the wave, right? Like, as late as possible, so it's there for longer. Oh, wait. Are you talking about me, or are you talking about Styx's ward? Nah, bro. Curious. This ward here, like, what does that do? Oh, well, I thought... Well, because I have flash up, right? I thought they would just, like, try to gank me or something, and if the, he has, like, move, I can see where he's going to go with that ward. Yeah, but you can put it down later. Like, if you really want a ward on mid, you can put it down, like, right at the end. Okay, okay. So it's just too early. To yeah, it like, I don't, I don't yeah, okay. fucking know what it does. Um, I'm just trying to think here, because Silas could easily gank you from bot side, right? So yeah, if, you put your, if you put your ward on Raptors, you can actually shove this wave, and it's good, because the next wave will come back to the middle. And you can even, like, recall maybe at that point and get a Sapphire. Because mm -hmm. the recall is worth it there, bro, because you're recalling on a cannon, right? And you actually have yeah. Sapphire, which increases your damage and shit, right? Yeah. Also makes, like, Lost Chapter, well, like, 950, which is super attainable yeah. in your next base. So, again, here, it's just, like, these little details. Like, this is just fucking pointless. And you're on a, you're on a base off this way, right? You'll get 100 gold, and you can get a Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you actually shove quick enough, though. But you can't, because the ward is pointless. And you can get hit. And if you were to shove this wave, pretty much like thought process here is right. Next wave is standard wave. You can tell. Let's put a wall down and cover myself. And it's like, why, why even look bot here? Like, you're not going there. Like, why look bot? Like, your teammates, again, will tell you, like, the summoner spell situation. You should be looking mid and yeah. auto-attacking the first minion here. Like, when his fucking Q3 ends, you should be auto-attacking and trying to shove the wave. We're just, like, standing back doing nothing. So I know mm -hmm. it's a... I know you're, like, nervous and stuff, and it's a... Yeah. You're against, like, I mean, half but decent I players. think that's nothing to do with the nerve. I think I genuinely just sometimes just look at other lanes. Just yeah, fuck randomly. that. Yeah. Fuck that, bro. I get bored. Well, I guess my attention span gets... Yeah, you get bored, like... bro. That's why you put the yeah. ward down. <laughs> you wanted to <laughs> yeah, see the just, ward. I'm, like, not thinking about it. That wasn't, like, a critical ward. That was just, like, a habit. Like, just yeah, let's just put a ward down because I can, yeah. right? You want an endorphin rush, mate. That's what I call yeah. it. Like you that. love endorphin. <laughs> the vision score is gonna go up. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My OP.GG rating is gonna increase from that. Oh, the Q, mate. Oh. Why don't you just I Q? Mean, I'll why be you... honest. I was trying to get the minion. <laughs> so why don't you just Q E W instead? So lead with a Q first. A Q here and then E W. Yeah, Q E W. Well, I thought and he Q would in. just jump back if I threw a Q. But isn't that better though? But doesn't he take less damage if I throw the Q first? No, because like you Q and you EW, right? Your Q's back mm. up. No, but if I throw the Q and then let's say I get my E off, won't he just jump back? Yeah, but you don't know that. Like here, he's showing okay. intent to go on you. So you Q, yeah. EW, and he's rooted in there like he is now, but you got an mm. extra Q in. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, good. So start the trade mm. with Q. You do this. That's important damage. Yep. Like, if you were to all-in someone, bro, fucking... Mate, I reckon Chinese Risers would do this shit. Let's say someone's here, like, 300 HP, and the Risers here. You would just, yeah. like... I don't know if you can Q Flash. You should know that, by the way. 
No, well, let's you just, can't. You can't? Okay, excellent. No, so let's. Just, so you've got a flash Q, right? And then you would do that combo. Q? Yeah, you can. You can. Because that's a cast time. Yeah, you oh, you can Q flash. flash. Yes, yes. All right. So that combo would be Q flash, EWQ, auto attack if you have to, and you kill them on like 200 HP. Mm. See how that's important? By just proceeding that with Q? Yeah. Gotcha. Hold the wave up. Nice. Oh! No, don't, no, stop. Stop. Oh, no, man. Oh, <laughs> and we missed the fucking minute. <laughs> oh, I missed the other one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bro, you going on about like CS and stuff. It was perfect after seven minions. <laughs> uh, you're popping corrupting like fucking a lot, no? Or is it just me? Um, I mean, I was just noticing I was going, um. So Bro, do not pop corrupting here. Oh my goodness. Why are you popping corrupting here? Pop it like maybe now, but even even here, like you probably don't have to. Right, like don't just yeah. pop corrupting like that. Again, like that means something. Like that's Yeah, it's damage. Yeah, like yeah. all of these things are gonna add up, right? Like your champion isn't just a fucking champion. Your champion in your game is dictated by like clicks, right? You're items. Right. How you're using items, how you're fucking like using your mouse clicks and and abilities, right? Mm. That comprises a game of league. Yeah, I think you can just chill. Like, unless there's a play to be made. All right, let's just say your Kha'Zix was active here. What would you do with the, the wave? And your support, maybe? <laughs> okay, so, like, when I say active, right, I just mean, like, let's just say your Kha'Zix is looking to um, move into river. Or let's just say oh, your sorry, car. I thought you meant he was looking for a gank. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. If they're active. So yeah. what would you do with this minion wave? Shove it. Yeah, I think you can actually shove your eyes, right? Yeah. You can actually shove this wave. Yeah. Um, and great thing about this is you'll hit six, right? Off this wave. Yeah. So just remember 530 wave six. And it's a big damage spike. And like, obviously, mobility is really good too. Yeah, I mean, that, those are just like bonuses that honestly don't matter. It's just nice to have, right? The point is mm. like you're shoving that wave to be in line with your Kha'Zix and yeah. Numbers advantage, if anything happens. CQ it. Yeah, no reason not to. I just CQ. Yeah. Now you I have to follow the wave in, though. So make sure you yeah. fucking move up, oh, and yeah, yeah now we do it, right? So, again, Bishop, like, you have to every single... I know it's like AIDS, right? It's mentally draining, bro. And, and yeah. if you've watched, like, if you watch, like, the top Chow players, like, they never read Twitch chat. I'm talking, mm -hmm. like, maybe Koreans and shit. Yeah. Like, they're, they're always just in the game, bro, full concentrating. Yeah. Probably why they I only a... play, like, four games a day. Because it fucking, yeah. it's I, mentally yeah. draining. Yeah, so... I have a really hard time, mm. like... I'll be honest, like, in solo queue, especially more than anything, I'll think that I already should win this game, so I pay less attention and autopilot the game, because I presuppose right. I should win it, yeah. Yeah, so you might be right, but... Again, you're thinking about the game as if it's like 5v5. It's a game mm. within a game. You should just focus on this and yeah. enemy jungle, right? Like I said. So if you want to ward at level 1 because they can level 2. Or if you ward at level 1 because they might 3 buff after red, 3 yeah. camp after red and hit you. Fine. As long as you play fucking towards vision, I'm kind of happy. I kind of griffed the wave here, right? Like if he holds yeah, it Yeah, it's I'm troll kind of as fuck. Like, I don't know why. Yeah. You, I thought you were hitting this wave and like, like if you're going to shove this wave, like auto attack more. Like, you can yeah. auto-attack the melee. Like, even here, you can auto-attack. You can maybe, like, throw in more abilities and stuff, right? Yeah. It's, like, in between two thingies. Mm -hmm. Rock and a hard place, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It, it's it's neither or. That's what it is. And now, like, like if I you were... gave him, like a, like, a fumble here, and he could just hold it if he was, you know... Well... Yeah, this wave will probably slowly push back to you now. It will. Yeah, well, I mean, he screwed it up. But... Yep, so thanks to Yone for not punishing your mistake. Yeah. Bro, look at you go with the corruptings. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, Bishop, you're not fucking Oom. You have so much mana with mana flow, you do not need yeah. to worry about mana. <laughs> right, you don't have Q here, so it's actually, like, just fine to... Like, just EW him, right? And then you can just, like, space him and wait. Yeah, I don't know why I don't. 
Like, I don't Because I did it before. Like, why would I just not do it here? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions, by the way, like about this game, mid lane, anything uh, about League? Generally, it's or... not like a lane question. Like, I'll be honest, this game was like a, it was like a really long game, and I don't know if that suited their team better or us, but. I think if I played less like an animal in any of the fights, we would have won the game. I'm okay, sure. so... Okay, so let me just... All right, think about what we've talked about right in this search, yeah? Now, yeah. If, let, just let's, let's roll swap here. You're the coach, right? And we've talked right. about what we've talked about. And I say, you know, if you've got any questions, and mm. I say this is the Rise player, I say, well, you know, in this game, it's really long, and if I played some fights better, we would have won. Right. What do you think, like, my kind of response would be to that? If I was the coach, I'd say, you did, you played really bad in lane. If you played lane well, you might have won. Yeah, so. bro. Like, lane is going to, excellent. The, the lane is going to set up the game. The, yeah. the mid lane here is way too fucking even. Like, yeah. counter picks are counter picks for a reason. Ryze gets picked into Silas because Silas should be down 20 at 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. If he's not down 20, some random shit might have happened. But most of the time, that's how it should go. Right? We talk right. about matchups if both players play optimally. If the Yone mm. plays optimally, he's still down 15 20. Right. Right? If the Silas plays optimally against Rise, he's still down 15 20. Mm. Yeah? So, there's no fucking diff. Like, that's a kill's worth of gold. Right. And everything else we've talked about, so back, like, even backing right for tier after you shove, backing or, like, getting a free little base in for your sapphire because next wave wears cannon you can recall you can run back to lane mm -hmm. all of these things man add up and these in my opinion are fucking blunders i don't yeah. care like what happens in a fight because it's 50 50. it's 50 50. Mm -hmm. that's how i like i view it because that 5v5 is one percent of a game True, like like it's true, no, like just yeah, in terms of yeah. time and actual percentage of a game, it's it's yeah, one percent. Yeah, yeah, like look, all I've seen on my screen is Yone and Silas mm. once. I haven't seen Gwen. I haven't seen their bot lane. Yeah. I won't see them in like for another two three minutes. What about if like you were level seven, level eight, and you had a big item advantage on Silas, and their bot lane is two levels like below you? That's how you win a game. Yeah, by fucking winning one v one like as hard as possible. And of course, like some games, you might be the talon here, right? In a hard lane. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then we have to think about how we actually get to a point because in those matchups, right? Like if I'm playing maybe Kale top into a hard matchup, just being down a certain CS is still good for you. Like if you're down 20 CS at 10 minutes as Kale, might even be a win. Yeah. If you're, if you're not like 0-5. <laughs> right. So there are certain conditions to meet, but that's if both players play optimally. This guy's not fucking playing optimally. You could have won lane even harder. Mm. Wait, I have a question that's not related to, like, immediately this, but something you said at the start of the session. I play a lot of utility, like, champs. I even, like, just play a lot of utility, like, even if I'm playing a carry champion. Um, you said it's not worth, like, investing time into champs like Zillion. I was just wondering if you could go more into depth, like, about that. What does utility mean? Uh, to enable other players on your team to do better. Do you want to trust fucking other players, other human beings? Depends on the person. Okay. What about, like, if you didn't know who the person was? Would you say yes or no? No, it's a bit of a coin flip, right? Yeah, fuck no. Mm. Why not have more influence on a game by picking champions that can actually do shit in lane? Like, you can you can CS some zillion. You can get 100 at 11 minutes, right? Yeah. But fucking, I'd much rather be playing Syndra or someone. Right. With 100 CS. Because you have more control? Is that what you mean? Probably, I don't know. They're just like better kind of like power picks, right? Mm. I can rely on myself more. On Zillion, one of my fucking abilities is two of my abilities are like target champions, right? They're like you're probably just using them on your allies. Yeah. Like if this guy makes a mistake and I'm playing Syndra, I can kill him. If I'm playing mm. Zillion, I'll do a little bit of damage, but then he's just going to like regen it. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, I get what you mean. Ryzen is like somewhat util, but his laning phase is good. Fucking late game, like split push is very good because of his clear. Like wave clear. Right. Does that, does that make sense? 
Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, like if, same for like any role, bro. If I'm playing fucking Ivern jungle, you better hope that you got some damage on your team. Mm -hmm. You've got fucking Galio mid with an Ivern. <laughs> <laughs> or if you've got, I don't know. That'd be a little grief. Yeah, if you've got one of your picks, Zil Seraphine with an Ivern. Yeah. Get me the fuck out. I don't care if you've got Vayne Bot. Just nah, bro. Mm. Even in comp? Or are you saying just for solo queue? Bro, comp is just such a myth. Like, There's no difference? You're saying it's bro, I could fucking... Chovy could pick, I don't know, any pick here or like any actual real chow could pick anything in like a game like this. Yeah. And uh, pop off. Like, the actual champs you play, I don't really mind. I was just, like, answering the question, like, util or... Mm. No, I mean, in a comp game, like, if... Is it better for, like, a player like Chovy, for example? Would it be Oh, a in one of those for... games. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like an actual those. comp game. Sorry, not, like... This is, like, probably, like, amateur or whatever. But, like, an actual comp game. Would it be worth, like, playing utility champs? Or is it the same idea as you want as much control as possible? Well... Everyone's going to be playing champs optimally, right? Right. So, Ideally. So I think if they were picking Zillion or Seraphine, it's because you've got a jungler who's, gonna, who's got a lot of damage and would appreciate like Zillion speed boost and stuff like that. Like Rengar, right? You eat him when he's okay. in biz. Or a Shaco, something like this. Yeah? Yeah. It becomes more viable, but I still don't think it's fucking that like fun. Like, what about if Zillion's against the Zoe? And he doesn't get prior, and he's getting shoved in, and his jungler just gets fucking hit over and over before he's level 6, and... See what I'm getting at? Yeah. Okay, um... Yeah, Bishop, I don't actually, like, really have much more, if... Because, like, some of the boys who have coached so far, like, there's so much info in them, and honestly, like, if I was actually coaching Ooh. a student here who paid for coaching, I would yeah. not fucking go for an hour. I would probably go for even 20 minutes what we did. Legit. Right, yeah. Okay, so, I get what you don't... Mean. If you feel like there's a bunch of info, like if I was to ask you right now, like what are you going to take away from this? Like what do you want to actually like Honestly, improve on legit? Honestly, the biggest thing that mm. I think I can like predict that's going to change my gameplay the most is the the thing you talked about, like the game is a 1v1 most of the time. Like I gen I mean, it sounds simple, right? But I never thought of it like that. I genuinely always thought of it as like every second my action can affect any player on the map kind of mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Whereas... I, I like your point that most of the game you're not versing the whole team, you're just versing one or one player and then the pressure from another player. Like in reality it's always just gonna be a one v one in the mid lane. Mm hmm You can get sweeper is here it, by the way. Is it better to go sweeper here? Well your wards on like two twenty you might as well. Um also in other matches you can always like just alt midders rise if you feel as if you're gonna like miss I think some... I do here, don't I? Oh no, I don't do it here, but I think I do it at some point. Yeah, I'm just like I'm saying don't do it. I'm just saying like, you know, in other games you can. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and what about, like, actual lane here? Because that's what's really going to matter, right? Like, we can we can think like that. Well, that's really the first thing, right? Like, thinking, right. like, 1v1, right? Let's fucking beat this guy. But the question yeah. is, like, how do you beat him? So, what did we look at, like, mechanically and actually in lane here? Well, like, micro... Well, I don't want to sound like fucking... <laughs> like a nerd or anything, but, like, micro transactions between the champions? Like, how they interact? Yeah, like, every, anything in lane, bro, that we yeah. looked at, that happened between these two lines. Like, what can you remember? What happened in lane? Yeah, so from well, level one. Like what I did wrong or what I should have done? What do you mean? Anything. Anything, bro. Yone's well, skin. Fucking, I don't playing, know. Anything I you remember. I should have been like autoing him more. I should be pressuring off the wave. If he's not taking autos, he shouldn't be able to get minions because he's like behind his own minion wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Um, I shouldn't you... be wasting corrupting pot. <laughs> yeah, corrupting <laughs> pot. Them. Don't just chain use them. What about like level one? What's the first move out of base against range champs? Well, you against range champ, go through the lane, not through the side, because they can zone you off the wave. Very good. Yeah. And what's like the first battle for range matchups? Uh, the first auto attack. Excellent, mate. Very good. Good memory. Wait, can you just quickly explain that? Just like short, like why is it the first auto that's so important? Because I've because you get tempo on the wave. So both of you auto attack the wave. Of course, there's AOE abilities, right? Yeah. But if you auto attack the first minion before them, you're gonna hit level two first, right? If you both auto attack. Yes. Yeah. Level two just makes it easy. You hit mm. that power point first. Who the fuck wouldn't want to do that? Okay. Okay. I thought when you said first auto attack was the first auto attack on each other. No, yeah, first melee, bro. Yeah. First yeah, melee. Yeah. <laughs> it's about to say, yeah. And if okay. you ever see someone like. Uh, I was watching like some sort of game recently from Chovy off his stream, I think, where he's playing Cinder and he cues the wave. 
Enemy Victor's yeah. got his Q, but he plays like a pussy. Like Syndra's Q is on like seven seconds now, and Victor's like chilling, as if yeah. Q, as if Chovy like didn't just Q. He should be pretty mm. much sprinting at him. Yeah. yeah so if they use Pressure their abilities on the away. wave, and un- just realize that. Yeah. Punish them for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. But nah, yeah, nah, man, that was that was fucking a nice little little summary. Um, but yeah, yeah you'll have the you'll have the vod here, so you can always go back through it. But yeah, um, I would just focus on level one, controlling waves properly. Yeah, maybe yeah. like rise comboing, so you're proceeding shit with Q. Yeah. Because if you do it there, if you don't do it, let me put it this way, Bishop. Like if you're not doing it there, I know you're gonna miss it like a bunch of other times. Like that's just yeah. really obvious to me. You should be doing it. Mm-hmm. So that's like mechanically what I would say. Um, right. And back timers, right? If you're starting D-ring and corrupting, maybe as well, just think about that. Like what you actually yeah. want to start with in matchups. And once you fucking shove a wave, if you're on a tier, you can probably just base, right? As long right. as you've shoved that wave properly. So auto attack the wave, soften up the minions with auto attacks before you EQ, and you should be sweet, yeah? Yeah. Okay, mate, very good. Yeah, you happy? Uh, I just stopped yeah, sharing my screen, so sorry much. about that. But I wasn't no, like, actually good. sharing anything we were talking about. I, I realized I was watching the stream and not... Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, that's all good. Um, yeah, thank you so much. That was great. No, nah, no worries, bro. We'll, we'll talk yeah. soon, I'm sure. I actually, like, yeah, that, like, actually changed the way I look at the...